So you going to tell everybody how your first day at the gym was? Did you have a good time? No. But you did really good. You was lifting weights up in the hundreds. Oh, look at a six pack coming in. Oh. You're not going to smile? I will No, you don't. Smile. Two gallons. All right, watch. When you look back at this in like three months, you're going to be laughing. Smile. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't want the pouting face. No, I don't want that kind of face. All right, this going to be... Oh, look at your shoes. You got them popped up and ready for tomorrow. Why are you lying? I just took a walk. I was tired. And just right here, Look, Tazzy, why has he missed you? You want me to come take your shoes off for you? Hmm? Try to put up on one of your foot. I mean, see if you could walk. Hey, Denise. that you must face and for each obstacle it will represent something about you your greatest victories your greatest failures but nevertheless you must rise above it and you must conquer every obstacle that comes your way are you strong enough are you willing enough do you have what it takes to do what's necessary to adapt and overcome. So while you fighting and you calling to get to the next level, let me tell you something. If you're a person out there buying, trying to buy your way to the top, I want to let you know something, King. And Queen, you can't buy a legacy. This you must earn. See the big dogs? They won't give you the opportunity. I'm sweating. <laughs> that makes my heart warm. Let me see my curls. <laughs> Come on, Twinkle Toes. You're going to have to take. You're going to have to sleep in your car. You're going to have to sleep on that floor. You're going to have to cry them tears. But we're not going to be cry babies. We're going to be lying. Ready? Let's go.
are you looking at me like that? Because you got me sniffing like Tyrone Biggums. It's not funny. <laughs> In the whole widest world. will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Y'all spoil. Y'all spoil. Some of y'all spoil. Just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. We're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something gets hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I'm going to go home. I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you're gonna keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. Here's what I want you to repeat out to me, please, with power and conviction. Say, it's possible. That's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, it begins to change your belief system. I look at the world. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory. Things they've done, things they've experienced, things they've seen, things that they have observed. But I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience, having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom. And God gave me problems to solve. I asked for courage. And God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for love. And God gave me troubled people to help. My prayers were answered. Fear is a very, very real emotion. 
There's not a person alive that does not experience fear on some level. Don't you believe that for a minute? I face it all the time. Fear is so big and so prevalent today. Nothing produces more failure than does fear. It is the fear of failure that freezes people before they even start. It is the fear of failure that causes you not to want to deal with the rejection and the potential hurt that failure causes. So fear cripples you on so many levels. But how is it that some people somehow manage to get by anyway? What is it that you can do that would help you overcome whatever fear you're facing? Well, here's what I was taught. And this has helped me in my life, my career, my family, my jobs, my ambition, everything. You overcome fear with your dreams. I want y'all to listen to me closely now. You overcome fear with your dreams. Steve, how my dreams gonna make me overcome my fear? Because I want you to listen to me. Because the dream is everything. The Bible says a man without a dream or a vision shall perish. The dream is everything. See, if you have no dreams and visions, you will perish. You will die in fear. You will die sitting somewhere in fear without dreams or visions. Dreams are the counterpoint to all fear. I want you to dream so big. I want you to want something so incredible. I want you to dream of having something that's so spectacular that if it doesn't happen, you would be miserable. Man, if I don't make this dream come true, I'm going to be miserable. I want you to dream so big that not reaching your dreams is unacceptable.